Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's nine o'clock. Asley at seven o'clock to put the kettle on before he left for work. So I could get up and make myself a cup of tea. Did that happen? <laughs> Did it hell? <laughs> no, I went back to sleep for two hours. But my nine o'clock alarm has gone off. I feel like I've been hit with a brick. Oh, I was so tired after work yesterday. It's amazing what going back to work does for your brain. <laughs> totally exhausted me. So I've just woken Kenzie up, who's normally awake by now. He's fast asleep as well. I wonder if it's a change in the weather. Um, I've woken Brendan up. <laughs> no biggie there, hey, every day. But he is getting up now, which is really good. Uh, just put the kettle on again. I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna make tea for us all. I'm gonna check out what work Kenzie's got to do. Lee's doing a half day. He's booked half a day off. So we get a bit of a chilled afternoon together. I'm gonna do as little as possible. I hoovered everywhere apart from upstairs before, uh, you know, after I did work yesterday, after I worked. I could do with dusting. Um, we did the food shop, so there's food. Uh, I'm gonna do a jigsaw. I might even do a couple of jigsaws this weekend because my table is clean. So I'm gonna do a couple of jigsaws. Then uh, I'm gonna send some off to Imo on Wednesday. I did promise her I'd send her some jigsaws. So better crack on and get some of these done and then I can pass them on to her. I can pass on some to my, I meant to be walking over to my, see my sister's sister-in-law and Jasper tomorrow. It's about a six and a half, six mile walk. But this rain hasn't arrived. I mean, we've had some rain, but this downpour hasn't arrived. It seems that it's being pushed further back. And now it's saying there's like an 80% chance of high wind and rain on Saturday, which is when I'm supposed to be going. We're not doing it if it's high wind and rain. So um, we might have to do it Sunday, but we'll have to make sure we don't time it with the same time as my parents, because my parents are going over to sit in the garden and have a cup of tea with her or with them. Um, so obviously I don't want to time it for that. Oh, deary me. Anyway, sounds like kettle's boiled. So I'm going to go and make myself some breakfast, make us all a cup of tea and check Kenzie's homework app and see what work he has to do today. I'm pretty certain he's ahead on it, if I'm honest. I'm pretty certain he did more yesterday. I think the teacher put stuff on for today and, and he's done it. So, a bit of luck. He should be um, not having to work too much. Actually, it's funny, before I make this too, I'll tell you, yesterday uh, he was helping me put the shopping stuff away. Um, and we were sat, me, him and Lee were having a really lovely conversation in the kitchen. Um, just one of those times when you're just, you're all there together and his conversation was not about anime or, it's not, to be fair, most of Brendan's conversations are, are more on his interest. That's a very autistic brain going on there. Um, Kenzie can be like that, but not to the same extent. But it was really lovely because he was just actually talking about real things and he was saying, that he feels like he's doing much better at school um, because he's there's no wasted time. He was saying at school there's so much wasted time that the teachers have to tell you what to do and then they get disturbed because someone's talking or messing around and you have to, when you finish your work, you then have to sit and wait until everyone's finished their work, until the class ends and he feels like it's a big old waste of time, which I can totally understand. Um, so I asked him if he felt that learning remotely using the reading stuff and the DVD uh, um, the YouTube clips and the Corbett maths and all the other kind of um, things that the school are sending are effective ways of learning. Does he feel he's learning it still? And he seems to be. I mean, he's answering the questions. He's picking up the information. He's telling me stuff. So he's clearly learning it. And he said, yes, because he can read that stuff in his own time. Like he can read it rather than having to sit and listen to a teacher. He can read it and then he can reread it if he doesn't understand. So he reads it and then he has, sees what questions he has to answer. And he goes back to look for those particular points if he can't remember. So it seems to be a really effective way for him to learn. And he said there's a lot less wasted time. So 
that was really interesting to hear from his point of view how his learning's going. Um, because actually while Lee and I were out of the house yesterday, there was a conversation about if things haven't changed dramatically by September, you know, what's going to happen school-wise for him. Um, and I think we've got a fair case to continue learning from home as much as possible, except for his uh, land and environment, because that's a very hands-on thing. But if if there's a way that I could get him to his land and environment lessons, which are a double lesson twice a week, um, obviously that's a smaller class. He wouldn't have to go on a school bus. And a lot of it is, uh, it's a bigger classroom and it's half of it's done outside. So I wouldn't feel so bad about him going and taking part in that, but the rest of the whole school day would just be, once you get the thousand odd children or whatever it is in the school back, you can't social distance and the school, and the school bus does worry me. Anyway, I'm waffling again. I digress. <laughs> We're at six and a half minutes. Sorry, people. I'm going to go make a cup of tea. making your speciality aren't you you're a bit of a pancake guru you've got like special things that you put in your pancakes that are not in the recipe uh, cinnamon, sugar. cinnamon sugar is that what makes them super special yeah. you should put it on top by putting it in there because like, you don't have any um, vanilla essence so no we're, we're struggling to find vanilla essence grind them on Mmm, nice. so incredibly lazy it's about half 11 so Lee will be finishing work in half an hour 
decided I'm not going to get out of my pyjamas. It's so windy out there. I don't think I'm going to walk today. Oh, I don't know. I might go for a little pooch around the village, maybe. Do a bit of a Pokemon hunt, but no. I'm just going to be really lazy today. And I feel like I can do that because I've had three days of work. So I feel like I can be lazy. Um, I gave the bathroom a bit of a clean out, like the sink, the toilet and stuff yesterday. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, the playroom's tidy. I hoovered all of downstairs. I've put washing on. The kitchen's tidy. I could do with dusting the living room, but I can do that tomorrow. Uh, I put all the toys away and stuff in the garden, so the garden's tidy. Kenzie's doing his work. He's struggling a bit on his maths. Uh, it looks like algebra. Just looking a little bit complex. Um, so that's not something I can help him with directly. I mean, I'm sure I could look for a YouTube video, but he's uh, messaged his teacher and the teacher's messaged, messaged him back. <gasps> he's currently doing his art. Brendan says he's going to do some drawing. We just had a little conversation about uh, what flux game. I said I'd like another flux game for my birthday. So he's just said, I need a heavy hint on what particular flux game you like the look of. So let me show you the puzzle that I'm doing. Um, it's not going to take me very long. It's only a 500 piece. So this one will be done. I might even start another one today. Who knows? It's not going to take me very long at all, is it? Not very long at all. Another puzzle completed. I've just watched an hour long Sky News documentary. Um, I mean, it's Sky News, so like any of those news things, they're going to be biased one way or another. But it was really interesting. It, was, it wasn't the life after the pandemic. I watched one of those. It was another one, but it was kind of a timeline from New Year's Day from this year all the way through to where we currently are now. It's about an hour and something long on YouTube on the Sky News channel. It was really interesting and it was really interesting to see how much has happened and the timeline and, you know, what government was doing and what the world, gov you know, other worldwide governments were doing at and the time frame and how all those things link together. Um, yeah, it was definitely worth a good watch. Uh, Brendan has just brought me tea, bless him. I say that a lot, don't I? He does bring me a lot of tea, but he came downstairs and said, unexpected cup of tea. He obviously felt like he needed one. To be fair, I've done all the teas this morning, so um, he does. I do make them for him too. But uh, yeah, he brought me a cup of tea down. Kenzie's done all his schoolwork. He struggled with some maths. But the teacher's helped him and he's done that now. He said he's still struggling. So hopefully he, he's done an online test, which the te teacher will see. So I'm hoping that the teacher will advise on that. Uh, Lee's watching various things, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and various bits and bobs that he wants to watch. Uh, Brendan wanted to do some drawing. That's what his plan was today. He said, I want to do some drawing. And he's a very good artist. In fact, I've got work of his from his uh, art GCSE that I wanted to put up and I really should display in the house. He's done some lovely, um, what's it called? Batik um, and paintings and things that are currently just in, in a folder upstairs, a plastic folder staying safe in the loft, but I want them displayed. I could have been doing that, couldn't I, really? Could have been doing that in the in the lockdown. <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's what he's doing. He's, well, I don't even know if he is, actually. I think he's just milling around doing his own thing. We've had rain, sun, wind. Rain. A bit more sun. Rain. A bit of wind. <laughs> Got blue sky at the moment. That's the first time today we've had blue sky. And it's not been torrential rain. I mean, bearing in mind we were supposed to get a lot of rain fall. It's really not been a lot. Not even really enough to water the garden. Oh, excuse me. Oh, the bee's moving. I was going to kick him outside 
and then it was raining and I was like, mm, not good for you, is it, B? Hi. <laughs> he must have known I was talking to him. Do you want to go out? Land on my hand then. Land. Okay, I'm going to go and get rid of the bee. Dealt with. Who wants a Poundland haul? Let's see. Who wants a Poundland haul? Okay. This is from the online Poundland shop. I got Twiglets. For those in the family that like Twiglets. I got pretzels. I got ice gems. I love these things. Kenzie actually mentioned them the other day and I was like, yes, well, they're on their way. Salt and vinegar crackers. Ibuprofen. Some argan oil body button. I love the smell of argan oil. Cotton buds, although I did get myself some eco-friendly ones the other day. Yesterday, in fact, while I was in Lidl. No, Audi. Uh, a coffee machine descaler and cleaner for Kenzie's coffee machine. Uh, hold on a minute. They must seal these bags so that nothing uh, leaks. Okay, we've got a Lynx for Lee and the boys. Another Lynx. We've got uh, an extra fresh body cream shower gel. Two of those. We've got my favourite argan oil shampoo. All of those things were a pound. These were not a pound, but uh, I'm going to claim those back on the grant that I got. Those are uh, alcohol gels. I even found argan oil shower gel. More shower gel. More shower gel. More shower gel. You can tell I love the smell of this stuff. Another shampoo. Figured if I was getting it, I may as well get it in bulk. Another shampoo. You have to have a minimum order anyway. And my heat defence spray for uh, when I straighten my hair. So there you go. That's my haul. Puzzle three of the day. It's going to look like that. But uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit low in blood sugars. I think I need to go and make myself a nice, well, dinner of some sort. I was just about to pop these and Brendan went, no, they're full of Chinese air. <laughs> to be fair, they're not. They're UK made. So there we go. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're the normal ones, though. Yeah. I've got two buttons. <laughs> you got two bottoms and two tops. <laughs> Better than a bottom, top and a bottom. Right? What was that? Better than a top and a bottom. Right? Oh, was it? But you've got to have two bottoms next. Right. Just thinking, I was about to end this video. And I was about to film my end piece. And I thought, I want to show you this little clip that I'm about to show you of the amazing elephant hawk moth that was in our house when we went to bed about two nights ago. Uh, it, apparently it dive-bombed Brendan's head and then Lee saw it on the lampshade. Um, you'll see how big it is and how beautiful it is. So Brendan went and got it some, it was not gonna leave my hand after I tried to move it, so Brendan went and got some um, sugar water and we closed the curtains and we lay it on the windowsill with the window windows wide open with the sugar water and in the morning it had gone. So hopefully it flew away and was fine, but it's a beautiful creature. So I just wanted to share it with you. Enjoy. Is my only comment. Show me yes. some half. Oh, Show me the mud. He's huge. Oh, purple and brown. Elephant hawk moth. The one with that. What's it? Oh no, it's what's it's back to not being bent. Sweet. So it. What did you say? It flew into you earlier. Yeah. It didn't bother you that this huge thing had just flown into you. Well, you don't really catch it. Very, it looks like it's like the size of a peanut. Its whole body is the size of a peanut. Oh, what you mean, uh, like a monkey nut shell? Yeah. He's lovely. He doesn't want to get off my hand though. Then get like his big soap. eyes. Get a little bit of soap. I'll go make a little like lid of sugar. Then you can like sit him down next to some sugar and okay. eat it. Is that right? Y yeah, if you want to. 
Big eyes. You could fly away if you want. I think it's safe to say that my relaxating and chilled day off was a success. I nailed it. So Lee did dinner and uh, that was very nice. And Brendan's bought me many cups of tea. I have also bought him many cups of tea. You know, that was also very nice. Kenzie made pancakes. Well, I ended up cooking them, which is usually the case, but he makes them. He just prefers me to cook them because I seem to be able to reel them off quicker than he does. Um, so that went well. Kenzie's schoolwork went smoothly. Brendan couldn't think of anything to draw in the end. So he spent the day lolling like I did on various bits of furniture, <laughs> which was fine. Uh, the weather has improved dramatically. The sun is shining. I don't know how for so how for so long. I don't know for how long, but hopefully for a while, at least past tomorrow. Um, so tomorrow, all being well, after lunch we will set off on our long walk and go visit my sisters and Jasper and have a cup of tea in their garden at a two meter distance so that will be really nice uh, one thing that has made me giggle i've just had um an email not an email a, uh, a whatsapp message from cluellen's parents you know the, the little lad that i sometimes take home in the evening and um or used to before this happened and look after him till his parents get home from work um and babysit for him in the evening and stuff uh, <laughs> there was some confusion he's been saying apparently uh, why can't Boris move very fast or why can't he move very far and they didn't understand they were like thought he was talking about the real Boris and so there was a lot of confusion during the conversations and apparently the today or yesterday he said can can is it because can he not move very far because of the stick and they worked out that he was talking about Boris the scarecrow who was on the green opposite his house <laughs> I was like First of all, I'm impressed he knows that much about current affairs at the age of three, four, four. Um, that he knows who Boris is and recognised the scarecrow to be Boris. Um, so yes, that did make me giggle. Bless him. Boris has now been removed. He can stop giving small children nightmares. Um, <laughs> but yes, the apparently Boris has given lots of people around the village giggles. So I feel like I couldn't do an awful lot in lockdown without a car and what have you kind of I felt a little bit like I was a bit rubbish at being helpful but I have brought smiles to people's faces so that's something um, in the immediate community I have been able to put smiles on the kids faces by giving them crafts I've put books out for people to have I've put some vegetables out for people to have I've made my house very bright and beautiful which a lot of people have come and commented on and said thank you um we put a fun scarecrow out on the green so that was fun um a lot of people have had a lot of giggles about that and i've uh drawn the things out on the pavement for the children to enjoy so although i couldn't do anything that feels particularly meaningful in some ways i've done lots of little things and I have to hold on to the fact that even though I didn't have my van so I couldn't go and do anything really useful like shopping and stuff for a lot of people I actually could do something to put smiles on faces so I'm going with that <laughs> um, I don't know how I got onto that anyway anyway I'm waffling again as usual right let's keep everything crossed for warm dry weather tomorrow not too hot just warm dry weather and no heavy wind and then we will take you on a nice long walk across fields rivers more fields more river and uh we'll go and see my family right you lovely lot take care of yourselves thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow